All right, John just got here. We're gonna do some uh, handlebar risers on his Altera and see if we can get it better for riding, but it's raining. So John, do you wanna go ahead and pull into the, uh, back into the driveway? Or... Yeah, it's too steep, I gotta use the ramps to get the pulling around. Oh, you're gonna go ahead and unload in the road? Yes. Hey, are those lined up? Good, man. Do you want me to check? That's sketchy. We got Mr. John talking about his safety video over here. Well, that'll make you pucker. All right, bring her on up to the garage. All right, let's go ahead and get her open here. Uh, his password to his garage is I love Lucy. I love Lucy. Come on, let's get it in here. We got another project in the works. Yeah, I'll show you. This is a, this is a joy right here. Go ahead and uh, we'll get you over here. All right, move all the Milwaukee tools. Come on in. Okay, that's that's perfect right there. All right, Good you're job. you're gonna love this. You haven't seen this yet, but this is great. Um, this is a customer machine. All right, check this out. Let's look at this brand new rim that was installed. John, do you see any damage? Yeah, they're wallered out. Yeah, they are. Hey, those are supposed to be round. They're not. Um, he actually all of the lug uh, the lug bolts, the how'd lug they, studs. How'd they come loose? I don't know. Um, but what if you hear, he check this out. They also, so do you remember, I don't know if you were here, but we had, I had this rear end apart and it's got all brand new bearings throughout the rear end. Okay, so that was the, it was the full redifferential rebuild and the, um... There was something else wrong though that he didn't want to fix. No, well the, I also got all the drive shaft bearings on this side replaced. Go ahead and give that tire a wiggle. Okay, that's a, that's a lot of play. Now do me a favor, spin the tire. Mmm. Right? I think they took out that bearing. Already? Yeah, give it a wiggle again. There's a lot of play on that wheel, and it's not loose. I think they blew out the, the hub bearing again. Before you beat on a machine, even if it comes back from a shop that had properly torqued them down, give it a rip around the yard, right? And keep in mind, this machine was pressure washed before it left my shop, okay? This was perfectly clean. So there's mud packed into the engine and everything. Before you do that, Check your machine before you beat on it. Okay, this is this machine is like it's almost 20 years old, and uh, it, actually he didn't bring it to me because he didn't even know any of this was damaged at all. He brought this to me because they couldn't get it started. Go ahead and turn the key and push the button. I took care of this already. Go ahead and shut her off. I'll tell you. Okay, so. In my thought, first thing, obviously, do we have spark? Yes. It started with the pull starter, but not the push button. Battery? Battery voltage. How is that going? Perfectly fine. Regulator? Regulator's fine. So I checked the stator, because he said that he, he had a, a tender on here, so he could make sure that to keep the battery voltage correct. Uh, I cleaned off the pads, and I put the battery back in, and it starts and drives. Well, starts. Drives is one of those very loosely defined things. <laughs> it starts, it'll move, but not very far. Well, I mean... <laughs> Well, I mean, I can follow you with the floor jack and we can walk around town. I, I think mean. we're going to make it to about eight feet in the garage before we hit gravel. So, I mean, here's the reality of it. You can this, fix it half-ass. The rim for this machine is probably 75 bucks. So for an extra 75 you can guarantee that you or whoever's going to be riding your machine is going to live when they ride it. Or you can half-ass chance it and be like, it'll work. Now, the thing about machines like this is if you want it to last, maintain it. you have to. So th when I got this, it was a quart low on oil. Yeah, I can't make this up. The first thing I did before I even started the engine was check the oil, right? Because no, if, yeah. if the bearings that I just put in are gone, that means that seal is probably toast. And the fact that they didn't check the lug nuts means that that rim is ruined. There's $300 in damage here. Now, the, this machine only holds three quarts of oil, maybe which 2.68 is probably what it holds. The fact that it was an entire quart low... Um, Concerns me. Yeah, I mean, that's 50% of the oil, roughly. I mean, given whatever is sitting inside the filter. 
but the 50 percent of the operating oil is not what a machine is supposed to be running on so all right that's enough complaining we're going to go ahead and we'll put even this though, machine out of the way one last thing even though this machine is brand new what do we do every time before we start riding Ethan? check your fluids levels and filters exactly check your air box after you're done riding Make sure there's no water in it because you don't want that sitting in there. You check your belt housing. Make sure there's no water in that because you don't want that sitting in there. No. Coaches don't like it. You go through, you check everything when you're done, and you check everything before you start. It's an extra 15 minutes, and it can save you a lot of hassle in the long run. $1,500? You know what a bottom end costs when you about to replace all the bearings because you ran it without oil? Oh, Jesus. Especially if you don't know how to do it. you got to have a shop do it. Yeah, no. Hey, Later. check your fluids, right? So each of these, these rear, this rear diff right here, this pumpkin, has um, a pressure test plunger so we can make sure it's got fluid in it right so if you notice here there's a fill port and then there's a drain port super simple right so you're going to pull the the fill port you're going to you're going to drain it first check make sure there's no particulate there's no water in the rear end if there is we're going to flush it with some oil that we can feel okay wasting and then we're going to pull the drain so okay i should start with this don't take the drain plug out without breaking the fill port first because, yeah, you're going to have a bad time. If you find out you can't get the fill port in, you just drained all the oil out of your, your pumpkin. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure you can get them both unbroken. Okay? Then you're going to drain the fluids. Then you're going to put your drain plug back in. And then you're going to fill your rear pumpkin up to the point where it just starts to come out of your fill port. That doesn't mean fill it up and shove the bolt in. That means fill it up till it starts to dribble out. Put your bolt in. You did your rear differential fluid change. Just as simple as that. I mean, this machine looks muddy. Yeah, it is superficially dirty, but the parts of the engine that need cooling are, are fine. We the pressure wash them every time. Um, this one got pressure washed, but we were in a hurry at the time. So we just made sure that the engine itself was clean. So we had cooling and everything was fine on it. Uh, because honestly, it's a four wheeler. I really don't care if it sits dirty. No, it's gonna. It's a dirty machine. That's what it was built and designed to do. We actually took it through a lake. Uh, we did have video of it, but you can have a show machine over there like I do that doesn't literally move. It just sits in the corner of the garage, but that's a... Uh, you took that into the water and... <laughs> okay. If only my GoPro would have been running at yeah, that Can point. Yeah, Can-Am makes one worldly sea -Doo. I bought one in orange, but mine just has four tires. So, <laughs> uh, all right. The first thing we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to move his machine over so we can actually get to structuring um, the Altera. What we're going to do today is I went ahead for John's birthday and I ordered him some... Um, Handlebar risers just to give them a different seating position. I know these these handlebars have a really steep rake on them I mean compared to my can-am up there. I don't know if you can see that But let's get some risers on it so John can feel like he's riding a little higher and uh, we'll be right back after we kind of reorganize the garage All right, we got so the machines risers moved. Are installed. <laughs> wow, what a position. Shut up. Okay Let's go ahead. Uh, pull off your key. I got you fam. There you go. Probably didn't need to do that, but whatever um, If you guys were around for the last video, this is where we put our rock light switch which is directly connected to our battery I do have rock lights for that bad boy right there. I'm actually waiting on an RGB set, so I have both. Just not sure what I want to do yet. Um, there is going to be a new quad in the future. Real yeah, fun. we got new machines coming. We got a side by side coming. Wait, I don't even know about that. You didn't pay for it. Oh, okay. We got some new toys coming, um, and hopefully, if everything goes well, we can start construction on my uh, my big building out back. Three thousand square feet of glory with twelve foot ceilings. So, guys. Uh, Hey, look, it's still we here. We do have a video that we got to put up yet. We haven't had time to edit, but where we took this riding and we... It just stopped riding after about three hours of whatever we put it through. Uh, we kind of broke it. Well, I don't know about... Bro okay, so we just... We didn't maintain the status quo. Um, it literally just gave up. Yeah, so a lot of people are going to tell you that the Polaris is the world's crappiest brand. And, I mean, we've got... Right, so we got a, a Yamaha, right? We, we have an Art of Crap. No, it's not ours, but I just sold one just like it, and we have my Can-Am. Um, this machine has taken a beating like you wouldn't believe, and it keeps on moving. So right now it's covered in clay. Not right now, though. <laughs> Listen, it moved really nicely with a tow winch right into the garage. But Wait, didn't this machine tow it? That machine towed it. Yeah, we're going to go over this. This is going to be a complete teardown. Um, I have access to some body panels. I do have a new set of tires coming for it. Possibility of a rebuild on that. Maybe. We're getting we're working up to it. So first thing we're gonna start with here is John's got his, his two screws, his set screws at the bottom of his head unit here. You know, I have screwdrivers that'll do that. We do have a great Matco guy. Uh, he supplies me with most of our tools here. Not for free, we pay full price. I don't I don't know why he's getting a shout out because we bought them all, but you know, he's always really fair when we break something. 
which trust me, we do. Uh, oh, wrong door. What size? Do you want another one? Do you want a thicker one? These are made by Cobalt, but here. That should be the right size. Shut up. Well, what's the point of spending all this money on mid-grade tools if we don't use them? <laughs> I wanted them to stay clean. Listen, guys, it's not about how much you pay for your tools. It's about how clean they are. Yeah, if you leave these out in the rain, I don't care if you buy them from Snap-on, Matco, Eastwood. If you leave it out in the rain, it's going to be garbage. All right. Wow. We did make the wiring long enough because we're not idiots. Look at that. Okay. Ba -ba. Okay. Um, 11 or 12s? Those are probably 12s, more than likely. Yeah, so let's grab an Impacto Patronum. Impacto! And then, uh, here, I'm going to hand the camera over to John. He's going to give you a tour of it. Oh, his. great. Stability control here. Shaky cam. So if this camera gets shaky, I'm sorry. I shake. I can't help it. Here, I'll hold it with two hands. Maybe that'll help. Uh, these are the handlebar risers, which I knew nothing about until like a week ago. Ow. They look like they're Kemimoto. So I have no idea what the brand is. Never heard of it before. But Ethan called me and told me, hey, I got you a birthday present. And I was like, really? Because I didn't get you anything. So, so an equal set from these from a reputable company is like 110 bucks. These are great. Got them online from your reputable um, import company. And reputable. they were reputable import company and they were like 30. Reputable. Reputable. <laughs> so. All right, we got the Milwaukee tools going on here. This one's loose. That was, I didn't do that. Yeah, maybe I broke it. Whatever. Yeah, you're not zooming in on the camera, are you? No. Okay, good, because that just drops. Well, these are, how are these compared to the new ones? Who? shit. No, that's perfect. Gives you the riser that you're looking for. We're going to see if this actually does what we want it to. Yeah. Oh, he broke it in my handlebars. He broke it in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you're riding dirty. This is, this, this, you'd only want to set it up like this if you're drag racing. Just straight ahead. Low profile drag racing. The wind, the wind resistance is unreal on that one. Yeah, okay, so let's, we're going to go ahead and get those. There's our bolts. All right, so these wow. two. Wow. On top, you are definitely going to keep. There's a lot of ingress. Those. And look at that. If I pull up, there's even enough room for our risers without readjusting our cabling, which we're going to do, but we actually have room. So we're going to throw these forward, and I'm going to clean that out a little, because, wow. Because Johnny gets dirty. Hey, man. How are you going to do a review if the machine only sits in the garage? Well, it doesn't sit in the garage. I can guarantee that one. I mean, we can prove it. Look at it. They're, they didn't even intend for you to get mud there. Good news is, you got mud there. I appreciate that. Wait, that these so go on top of those? They do. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. And it sits nice in there. Beautiful. Keen moto. Kimi moto. Sounds like Japanese. Why would you spend $110 on a CNC piece of aluminum when it's a CNC piece of aluminum? Now, if there's a different type of engineering in it, I get that. Maybe a quick disconnect for handlebar swaps, but there isn't. It's just a chunk of metal. Quick disconnect? That just sounds dangerous on handlebars. Hey, does anybody want quick disconnect handlebars? <laughs> I'll leave your bolts a little loose. They'll come right down. I give you that swag so you can just pull them back really hard or land off a jump and go over the machine. Here you go. <laughs> If I can get that cleaned up a little. So what, what is the, what's the idea here? So right now we want to make sure, and of course logo, in. <laughs> yeah, that's the way they don't go. Logo in. Logo out. Yeah, nothing like nothing like repping our, our Chinese equivalent parts. You're not going to see it. Right, that's the joke. <laughs> okay, we're just going to clean up our area here. I mean, there's really no reason, but... So... Handlebar risers, I've done them on snowmobiles and all kinds of different stuff. Yeah, why are we doing this? They make your ride position a little more comfortable. Uh, we're missing a screw. No, we're not. I can't tell. Snowmobiles, it. when we did it on those, was actually number one because your hands being up higher as compared to all the way down low feels a lot more comfortable. Um, your arms don't get worn out as fast. And number two, on snowmobiles, it looks cool as shit. And this, you ain't going to see much of it, so it probably just looks cool. Well, be my best, I'm, I'm hoping that this will give the just a different riding position in, in total, right? So I'm not going to do it. We might put this on, and I might just hate it. You never know. We might take it back off and go, nope, don't like it. Something different. Well, and the best part is we don't have to keep it, right? $30, $30 or somewhere in there. Okay. 
those are on the floor. That's gone forever. So we lost a riser. Oh, we lost a bolt. I don't know where it is. No, I also lost a riser. Oh shit. Hey. Shoot. So you see that when you take handlebars apart, they got these little nubbies in them. Those are called knurls. You want to make sure those actually go into the groove surface of your riser or any other piece. I'm and you're forgetting a piece. Um, yes, I am. <laughs> Correct. Right now, I'm just essentially checking to make sure that we have enough length and that for some reason, we don't end up with the problem we just did. What's the problem we just ended up with, John? Oh, the bolt's not long enough. Uh, I think the bolt's long enough, but I think it's a different... Okay, the bolt's not long enough. Oh, shit. Hey, it's okay. We have a tractor supply that's probably closed. It's Sunday. It's always closed. So we might got you guys are probably coming out with a ride along so we can hop in my truck. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so we're um we lost the riser. It, they are. They're they're they they looks like they'll fit, but they're just too short. But we have an auto zone. So yeah, that's about and these are not captive, which means we can take that bolt all the way through. We need to come up another inch at least. Is that handlebar sitting in all the way? Yes. I'm going to put the other side. Oh, sorry, on. you guys are getting a bad view right now. I'm trying to okay. hold and see what's going here, on here. Let me trade you. Watch out. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I just want to make sure before we invest more effort into this that John likes the riding position. So let me remove my cleaning rag here. We'll throw the rest of the bolts up there. We're going to put the other riser on the other side because it's not going to thread on. And we're nope. just going to have John sit on the machine just to see if he even likes the riding position. Because there just isn't any, there isn't any real reason to waste a bunch of effort if, if this is a, something we're going to take off after the video anyway. I hate to lie to you guys and be like, yeah, we kept them on forever. No, if, if we hate it, it's coming off. I don't know why they wouldn't give you a long enough bolt. Maybe that's the reason why they're trying to use them. If that's the only fail, where's the other bolt? I know we had four when we it's started. On the over there. Oh, okay. Ha, found it. Riding dirty, trying to catch me riding dirty. <laughs> How does that feel? Better. Does it feel better? Because those are two inch risers. One inch risers. I think we need to go with like the ape hanger status. <laughs> <laughs> Eight inches. Eight inches. How does that feel though? Not bad actually. Okay. So we need to go get some bolts that are about an inch longer with the proper thread pitch that those have. You're just going to strip out the starting thread. I wouldn't even waste your time. <laughs> I know, right? How do you feel when your bolts are too short? <laughs> I feel like John. I um, we're gonna have to go get some bolts. Yep, we're gonna go on a ride along. We're gonna have to go on a ride along in the one in the, the I called it a winter wonderland because yesterday in Illinois, we hail. had one and a half inch hail. And it, it's in the middle. It's September what twenty eighth today. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, okay, so that's a day, and uh, we had hail, which is great because my vehicles park outside so I can keep my other investments in my garage until the Morton building gets built. My vehicles park outside too. Because you have more thirty thousand dollar Harley can sit in the garage. <laughs> that you know what? That's the thing that the hail wouldn't hit the Harley. But anyway, hey, we at least we didn't blow out your basement stairs and just park it down there yet. <laughs> We're thinking about it. Yeah, no way. All right. So John's happy with this. Everything seems to work. The pitch of the, the reason that this set didn't work on my machine is because the distance and pitch between where that these uh, these bolts actually secure to the top plate was just off. It looked like a Y. So I do remember, these are still 7 8 inch handlebars, but my my spacing for my mounting was different. Because it's Cam-Am, so it's Canadian, eh? It's Cam-Am? It's Cam-Am. Who sells a Cam-Am? It's a Cam-Am It's a Cam-Yam Yam Laundry. It sounds like a Chinese knockoff. You Cam-Yam Yam. All right, but guys, seriously, I want somebody to comment whether we should buy another Can-Am, buy another Articat, Articrap, whatever you want to call them. Oh. Wait, what is it now? You want me to buy a Bass Pro machine? Yeah, Bass Tracker. Like um, you're on the water? Bass tracker. <laughs> uh, a sportsman. Another Polaris. Hey, if you, if you crash it, does that mean it's bass backwards? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we buy a Polaris? We can buy a Polaris 1000. Those are like 13 grand now. They're on sale. Polaris 1000 High Lifter. Oh, great. So we're going to be going through axles. Yeah, they break axles from what I've seen. I don't know. Please don't hate me for that, whoever's a Polaris lover. Or should we just go freaking crazy off the water and go tail tail? Yes. <laughs> nah, guys. 1,000 cc Teo Teo. Cost you 500 bucks. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't come with handlebars or rims or tires, but we can get it imported. And you can't fix it. All right, we're going to give John the camera while I drive, and we'll hop in the truck, and uh, we'll go find out who's open. Anyways, we're having fun. How's uh, our camera battery? 
Cole. All right, you can uh, you can get some shots here. Why? Okay, so these are automatic wipers, but right now they're having a moment. That's a Dodge. That's why. Um, if it was a Chevy, they wouldn't work at all. Get hey, my Chevy works just fine. Well, here we go with the uh, woods. This is what's around Ethan's house. He lives in the middle of the fucking woods. My house is down there in that ravine. I just live in that ravine there. There is no house. I just told you guys <laughs> that. lives next to Cheryl She Shed in the Home Depot parking lot. We got some cars and stuff over here. So, by the way, it's Illinois, so all of these speed limits completely optional. Yeah, for the most part. <laughs> it's whatever you could do on these roads. They're all terrible. Yeah, I mean, if, if you so, feel comfortable, if, if you get to a high enough speed where you can just coast over the potholes, you're doing great. But this isn't John Shaky Cam right now. This is the road. Yes, this is 100% the road, but... um. Yeah, the roads in Illinois are so terrible. I don't know who lives in Illinois that watches us, but if you don't live in Illinois and you watch us, it's no joke. Illinois is a very bad state to live in. They tax you like no tomorrow, and your roads don't get any better. They fix them constantly, but they make them worse. Yeah, there, there's Any of that money that we spend on taxes, you definitely don't see back into the state. No. I don't mean to be negative, but I don't think this has ever been mowed, and I've lived here for 10 years. 10 years, never been mowed. That's why there's trees. Not because there's trees, it's just because it hasn't yeah, been mowed. Yeah, these used to be farm. <laughs> no. Uh, it's okay, they did re re rebuild this bridge like six years ago, and that's a, that's it's amazing. Like, there's a bridge there again. You can actually drive down this road. Um, now, the fact of the matter is, this truck isn't that bad. Ethan and I give each other shit just because that's what we do. Um, we talk bad about all brands, Chevys, Dodges, Fords, Toyotas, Nissans, but I seriously wouldn't buy a Ford. No, seriously, don't buy a Nissan. What are you doing? You looking for a minivan? Don't buy a Nissan either. But uh, we talk bad about a lot of different stuff, but most of the time we're messing around with each other. I Me, mean, I don't mind Ethan's truck. It's decent. It's a Dodge and everything, but it's not for me. Are you comfortable? I'm comfortable. It's a decent truck, but it's not for me. I like my Chevy better. That's what you gotta do is find out what you like better and what actually works for you. My Chevys have never left me walking. Never really had problems for them. Ethan buys a different brand vehicle every other week, so you never know what he's driving. <laughs> hey, we were gonna buy a Ford, and I mean, you can look at the price for comparison for the vehicles, and the Ford is about $6,000 higher for less equipment. I mean, there's, it just isn't, I don't feel comfortable buying a name, I guess. I'm comfortable with my Dodge, I love the horsepower, I put, 50,000 miles on it in the last year and a half and haven't broke anything. I mean, tires, obviously. Well, tires are a thing that yeah, always Tires, happens. brakes, alignment, all that stuff has to be done consistently, but I mean, I definitely expected more. Do you guys think we can get away with filming in TSC? I don't know. Most of these people have never heard of a TSC. Oh. TSC is Tractor Supply Company. It's like hillbilly type stuff. You know, have... you know you're a redneck when you have a tractor supply store that's open later than the auto parts stores. Yeah. But we're going to get some bolts, so. Oh, yeah, we have to get uh, wherever they are. And I'm sorry about my Sunday attire, guys, but I just kind of threw on whatever today. It was my lazy day. It's one of my only days off work, so. And my garage doesn't have a dress code. See, now this is crappy. If you're going to mow, blow the grass somewhere else, would you? Get it is actually illegal to blow the grass on the road. Yeah, well, apparently in Illinois, they're very lax about rules such as this because, I mean, this is just dangerous. You guys, you guys want to know the truth about Illinois. You want to know exactly what it's like living in Illinois. Wake up every day. Take $50 out of your wallet, throw it in the garbage can, drive to work, take another $10 out of your wallet, throw it in the garbage can, and drive home from work, take $5 out of your wallet, throw it in the garbage can, eat dinner, take $10 out of your wallet, throw it in the garbage can. That's what it's like to live in Illinois. Actually, that was that was pretty accurate. I'm, and again, that depends on how much money you make. If you make a decent amount of money, that if you make 50 is 100 if you make any more than 30 grand a year in Illinois, like said people, uh, you are going to get taxed until you can't move. I, would have, I think they're, last year when I filed 1099s, I think they took like 35%. Yeah, they take a lot of your pay. And it's not fun. Well, and it's not just that. I don't mind that. I, I'm okay with that. If they only do it once. Right? But they do it every week and then they do it at the end of the year. Look at this cornfield. Uh, what cornfield? This is all swamp land now. I'm just kidding. It's. It used to be a cornfield. I don't even see, know. the beginning of this year, it rained so much that everything was flooded here in Illinois that they couldn't plant. 
Like we're in September and the corn is just now starting to dry out and turn color. Yeah, Usually by this time they're already harvesting. Yeah, literally we had hail yesterday. Yeah, we did have hail yesterday. Which it was 65 degrees outside. So it went from 85 last week to 65 yesterday, which is great tornado weather, by the way, if anybody's ever been to the Midwest. Uh, when the sirens go off, we don't actually get in our basements. We walk outside and look for it. Yeah, holding a beer can going, woo, tornado! Pretty much, it's pretty much. <laughs> you know, believe it, we don't live in a bad part of Illinois. We live in a good part of Illinois. We're about an hour and a half outside of Chicago. Yeah, don't, don't live anywhere near Chicago. If you want to live in Illinois, stay away from Chicago. Chicago is great to visit. All right, we're back. We're back. John's up in here losing components. Get it, but you wouldn't believe it if it didn't happen to you. Wow. Was that a new slant one? Looking good, buddy. It's Mach 2. How, what did you lose? The other cap. She's gone forever. Order another one. And you're a Goodbye. Yeah, okay. Come on, Simba. You got this here. I'll grab this side. All right. Let's line it up in such a way where we can... We'll adjust it after everything is... Oh, dear God. Gone forever. Okay. Yeah. This is some comical stuff. I You couldn't make up your life if this didn't happen to you. I'm having technical difficulties. You know all the, all the videos that people post where they're just immaculate? Editing. <laughs> <laughs> because people drop things. And in this garage... We stay with the reality. Sometimes we throw things. It's really fun. Oh, when we throw stuff, you know somebody's angry. Okay, we're missing our cap. Get it. This one goes over there. I and figured. We'll never get it on. Okay. Ow! Okay. Let's bounce back to John throwing things at me. Ow. Okay. Hold up. Okay, now pause, because we need to lift this side so I can get this recentered. There you go. Go ahead and sit her down. I don't know if these bolts are going to work. They'll be fine. We'll make them work. Yeah. I need to find that other bolt wherever it went. It's gone forever. We'll use the three that we do have. I genuinely don't know where it went. Uh, I don't know. We'll find it in a minute. Okay, shake, 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 shake it. Okay, hold on. There's a lot of downward pressure. There we go. There we go. It helps if you're in the right angle. All right, so those actually sort of kind of worked. Of course it's the wrong size because reasons. So is that a 12? So it's probably a 13? Yep. Of course. Now before you start doing that, let me get it in a... Hold, hold on. It's... I wanted to see if it grabbed. No, it grabs, B. But now you're riding dirty. <laughs> okay, pull your handlebars up to a seatable location. Ooh, I like that. And this will get adjusted. Post ride. They gotta go that way. Yeah, so loosen that a little just so it has some teeth on it and then we'll get it adjusted. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to work on things and film at the same time. The, the ones of you who can are just pure masters. I'm pretty happy with that. What's John doing over there? Hey! Flagged. <laughs> Patreon only. Okay. <laughs> I think that's about right. Okay, well, tighten it in, and we'll give her a feel. Start your cross corner. Try. You want to hit the back one? Okay, and then we'll find the other bolt that John has lost in the abyss. That's not the right pattern to tighten those in, guys. No, we're just getting them seated. Maybe we're going to loosen it and tighten it, right? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and grease your steering stem while we're here. Yeah, it looks like I could use it. Yeah. I don't know if we're just going to go ahead and grease through the mud or what. All right. You got a magnet? Because I can see the bolt. Yeah. Let's go over to the wonderful world of... Hey, I can actually stand up. I'm not sure if it's the lack of sleep or what's going on, but lately I've uh, 
started slurring my words in the best way possible. Oh, yeah, you don't know what's happening. It's not the drugs, is it? I mean, it could be. No. <laughs> not unless you can get slurred speech from ibuprofen. There you go. You got a wild Illinois person here fishing for bolts in their four-wheeler. Did you get it? Almost. Next thing John's gonna complain about, you guys will be here first. He'll tell me that the magnet's not long enough. Okay, you're touching the floor. Grab your bowl. <laughs> oh, hey, good. Magnet still works. <laughs> if you guys feel like this is as painstaking to watch as it actually feels, it is really difficult to watch somebody struggle like this. Are you serious? Why can't I go through this way? There's a light at the end of that you can turn on. I didn't say it worked. I just said there's <laughs> one you can turn on. How do you turn it on? I don't know. That's how you take it apart. <laughs> okay, well it should be on. It means probably the batteries are dead. I'm going to grab my phone so I can use a flashlight on it. Sure, 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 because we don't have any of those in the garage. Give me a flashlight. Then. I'm working up to it. All right, Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Brought to you by. Not having any flashlights. What's going on here? Oh, wrong door. That door is just nasty. Nope. Really? All right, we're working up to it. Nope, nothing there. Hey, we did some plumbing work the other day, so. And that one's dead. No, it's still on. Okay, we did some plumbing work the other day, so we're gonna grab some flashlights here so John can see what's going on. I got him in the go bag. Let me come find the... I'm gonna go grab our flashlight that you clearly threw across the room. Oh god, we broke the magnet off the bottom. Ugh, I'm never gonna get my three bucks back. Come on. Ooh, tough break. I lost the magnet again. This is amazing. Oh gosh. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but can you get to it from the bottom? And John just sticks his hand in and grabs it. This is so much fun. Oh, look at that. Oh, good catch. <laughs> okay, John got it. And we're back. Remember that thing we always told you guys? Don't tighten down the other bolts before you get them all in place. Shut up. Oh. Look at that intensity. Intense work. Oh, good. It's almost there. Nailed it. Missed it by that much. Yeah, clearly. Unloosen the other ones, would you? Technically, unloosening would be tightening. It'd be loosening the other ones. Unloosen the other ones. You guys want to bet that's the same length? Oh, okay. It's not going anywhere. Because it has to go down because it's right on top of where the threads would be. All right, that was so much fun. Okay, so we went ahead and we got those bolts in. They do have uh, enough purchase on them. We're going to be happy with that. The top's got gold a little bit, but that's just because of John. You'll never see that. No. Um, so we're going to make sure that our brake links and all of our electrical wire links and everything are good enough for the steering. So go ahead and, yep, full tilt this direction, please. Okay, now we'll go ahead and let go and let's give our... Let's give our stuff a wiggle. I think we have enough room. Okay, come on the other way. Good job. Okay, we still have a little bit of play. We're not crazy. Okay, everything else feels good. So yeah, we had enough room on this machine with no modification. Playing with your booty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had enough room on this machine with no modification to be able to do a uh, handlebar riser. So, all right, John, throw not your- any higher than that though. No. Not any higher than I would. Throw your head back on. And we'll go ahead and we'll button her up.
And that is a 2018 Articat Altera 500. Not bad with, with the lift. A riser. Yeah, I like the riser. Gives you a bit of, you know, you can spray under there now. And look, you can see the logos. Ka chow. <laughs> Keen moto. <laughs> Okay, so here's our here's our wrench. John's gonna grab his star-shaped bolts. Guys, this is not a wrench. This is a screwdriver. Nah, it's a wrench. Everything's a wrench if you hit it hard enough. Why'd you drop it off from John's forehead? Oh. Listen, I don't care who you are. Falling tools hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Flying tools hurt. <laughs> okay, they, I'm not even mad. Everything looks looks good. Definitely changed the stance. The riding position has definitely been adjusted slightly. I'm not sure if I like the rake. We might still want to adjust them back a little, but we're going to let John make that call. It's his machine. Give it a moment. For some reason I can't find the hole. Innuendo. There it is. I guess if you look before you stick it in, it helps. Especially in this new Location. <laughs> Looking good. Hey, handlebar risers are kind of worth it. Just make sure that you get, you know, don't get all excited the second you get them in the mail. Because your bolts aren't going to be long enough. So just be prepared to have to go to your, your local getting spot. And uh, go ahead and replace them with something longer. Even longer than what we went at 80... 80 mil? 80 millimeters? Yeah, you might want like an 85. Go ahead, 80, 90. Or 90. Yeah, million. if you can get 100, go with it. <laughs> as, as long as it doesn't touch the ground or hit anything. Hey, anything you think you're cleared. I mean, as long as we're talking about it, the longer the better. It's not going to hurt anything. They're just going to follow the, the steering stem down, so it's not going to get in the way of anything. All right, click. Dude. But that is... Not bad. Interesting. Yeah. Go ahead and sit on it. Give me your impressions. Now that your butt's wet. Okay. This machine needs a pressure wash. Any more of a pressure wash. Ooh, fun. How is it? Fun, fun. Do you like the riser? Oh, yeah. Does it still run after we did that? Yeah. Okay, good. Are you in gear? Are you in park? No, I'm in neutral. Okay, good. Not bad. Winch is not exactly, I mean, I think the winch is held up. But the fair lead is definitely rough. Yeah, we beat the hell out of that fair lead. Yeah, that fair lead is rough. It's going to need to get, uh, what do you think? Should we, whoa, should we sandblast it and then uh, powder coat it? Yeah, probably. If you guys want to stick around, let us know in the comments. You want to watch me set up the new uh, powder coating station? Uh, we've always had a sandblaster, so that's pretty, that's anticlimactic. I think we're going to get rid of this, too. It's just broken. It's kind of getting there. I think if anybody, you know what, I might reach out to one of our guys and have him make this for us out of paracord. Something cool looking. Like a monkey fist or something? Yeah. This needs to, what do you, what do you guys think? Should we uh, powder coat it red, blue, bright orange? Pink. Pink? Ooh, pink fairly. <laughs> Get it? Hey, that winch has pulled out a lot of people though. You know, okay, so let's talk quality. Would that have been better if you would have spent $100? You might have gotten the right bolts with it. Okay, so that's a that's a clear negative. But what were bolts? Ten bucks. Okay, guys. When you're going two and a half inch riser, I think it's a two inch riser. We don't know. I'll I'll put it in the like description. Like two. I'll put it in the description. That much difference on your bolts isn't going to help you. It's not going to make up the two inches. Whatever. You literally. I probably should have went and got hundred millimeter bolts. But we're gonna... We'll see if we even like it. And if we do, we'll... I'll ride it around for a while, and if I like it, then I'll go get the bolts for it. And I'll put longer ones in so it fits better. These were functional. Keep in mind, when you're putting all this together, you go across, and you go straight over. So you're gonna go that direction, and you're gonna go that way, and you're gonna come back this way when you tighten it. That's like getting directions from a person at a town you've never met. Yeah. Just do it, tighten them down in an X or a cross shape pattern and you'll be good to go. Okay? Don't bias it you on the, the right side. One, then you go to this back one. Or you could do it vice versa. Go to this back one. Then you go over to the other back one. Then you come back to the other front one. Wow. Make an X. Math. Looks good. All right. That was all for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just want to watch us catch this thing on fire.
probabilities of that are very high. Yeah, believe it or not. So, as always, keep stay riding muddy. and stay muddy.